Peter's had a job on his hands with the stove area because we're getting the new one. Um, but what have we come out to do today? Looking at tiles <coughs> to retile the area. So Peter has just sold his squirrel morso stove. I am in the process of giving the boat a really good spring clean and trying to get rid of all the soot and the dust. You would not believe the amount of dust that has gathered on books and statues. Well, maybe you would, um, but it's gonna be a long old haul to actually clean it. I'm looking forward to getting the new reflex stove in, but that won't be for another little while. I think July now. When Peter was unscrewing the stove base in order to get it out, um, water started appearing underneath the stove as he was removing a screw. Well, now that the stove is gone, Peter has the unenviable task of trying to remove the tiles in the base and lift the board that's under there to try and find out where the water is coming from. So getting rid of the stove is only part one. Part two is now going to be a bit of detective work, I think. Here you can see the broken tiles. Peter had a real job trying to get those off because he didn't know what it was affixed to or how it was affixed. And now that they're all removed, you can see that there is a wooden baseboard there. So the next job is to try and lift this to see what is underneath. Well, it's been quite a struggle for Peter to try and lift this board. And as you can see here, he's only managed to lift it up maybe an inch or two and he's put something red there to wedge it open just so that he can have a look underneath and see what's there because he has no concept of what is under there holding it down he thought it would just be a simple process of unscrewing some screws and lifting the board up but no it's more detailed than that and as you can see you can't see very much at all so I don't think that this was um, very helpful to him, but the job is turning out to be much more difficult and long-winded than he anticipated. At last, Peter's managed to raise the baseboard. As you can see, there's a lot of glue and some screws, and I think there's also panel pins that they use to um, nail gun it into position. This board was not meant to come up at all during the life of the boat, I don't think. But Peter's had to damage the lovely wooden, dark coloured wooden trim around the baseboard. And I don't know that he's gonna be able to use any of it again. So the whole corner will need to have a rethink. You can also see the glue oozing out from where it's been glued down. So it's been a real tricky one, but the board is now up and now he can get on with the task of exploring what was leaking and why. Now that the stove has gone, uh, I'm busy working on the stove mounting ready for the new stove. And one of the problems I have to deal with, you can see in that there's a dark patch on the baseboard. And when I undid the screws that were holding the brackets down, holding the old stove, water came out of that hole and it puzzled me at first but um, what it is is that I have pipes running all the way around the boat it turns out way down in the distance there um, you can just about see the engine room door there beyond there there's the Averspacker which provides hot water and also central heating. So there's a pair of grey plastic pipes that run all the way down the side of the boat in this uh, boxed section here and behind the stove and that there's the shower room and there's a radiator in there. It provides a radiator here which I've now unboxed um, because I needed to get in there and then it runs along the bottom there underneath the steps comes underneath this board so it goes along the back close to the wall there's turns around that right angle bend and then goes 
all the way back down again all the way down this side of the boat down to beyond the kitchen area where there's another radiator and that's the end of the run and those two pipes are going under there and a, the screw to hold the stove down went into one of those pipes so you can see it was all right to start with I've turned off the the the, the stopcocks at the far, in the engine room so there should be there's no more water getting into this system but I need to look under that board to see what's happened to the floor underneath unfortunately it had tiles on it so I removed the tiles and it was screwed down so I removed all the screws and it still wouldn't come up and I've had to hack away the wood trim and I'm in the process of levering it up because it's glued as, as well as screwed which is a bit over the top I think and it doesn't allow for any future maintenance such as what I'm trying to do now I need to fix the hole in that pipe somehow or other and you can see here as well there these this area where the trim is inside there there were there was plasterboard um, with tiles on so they were pinned yes nailed to the wall using these very small panel pins so I've removed those to make it easier to access this corner um, once I've sorted out the problem then I can decide how we're going to present this area ready for the new stove which will be coming in at the end of next month the end of July so so far out there there's the plasterboard um, with all the tiles on the other side and so now I'm going to have another good go at levering this board up so this is where we've got to with the fireplace the the uh, tiles were removed the vertical tiles were on plasterboard so the board itself was taken up um, the floorboard was very difficult to get up but we've got it out now and it's drying out I'm just going to lift it again Ooh, if I can Oops. and there we can see underneath it's almost completely dried out now. I'll check that corner piece. But those are the two pipes which run down the boat to the uh, radiator. So you can just about see down there that dark spot. That's the repair. So now we're going to look at tile. As you saw from the footage before this, uh, Peter's had a job on his hands with the stove area because we're getting the new one. Um, but what have we come out to do today? Looking at tiles <coughs> to retile the area. Yeah. Um, have you any ideas of what kind of tiles you're looking for? Um, up to a point, <laughs> so a little bit. A, a bit. I want it to be quite a light colour, so that it, we don't end up with a dark corner. It's going to have a copper um, coated stove and copper guard on the on on, on the flue, so uh, it would be nice to have it as a light corner. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe trying to eliminate one of the dust holes that that by the steps as well. Right. Mm. light bright tile but <laughs> that's not what we found I think both of us have fallen in love with uh, the opposite I'll show you what I mean
enjoyed this week's video and found it interesting. The preparation for the stove is actually proving to be quite tricky, but I think we finally got there. I hope you like our choice of tile. It's totally out of the ordinary, but it does look like a piece of art and art is something that interests Peter and I. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel by making comments. Please like and share um, and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps the channel and I really appreciate reading your comments. I'm leaving you with some pictures from Lockgate's brochure of the three different types of finishes that they have. We have chosen the copper. Let me know which one you think you prefer. So until next week and next week's video, 